So school's out and I thought Rona was leveling out, but the world is kind of falling apart. So here's how I've been trying to distance myself from all of the chaos and just keep my mental health in check. <music> Hey guys, it's Courtney. My pronouns are she, her, hers. And if you forgot, I'm from New York. And today, I just wanna get right into the topic. Here's the tea. Here's what's going down in my life. So in the last video, I gave you guys a beautiful <laughs> bullet journal spread. And that was working a lot. I said I wanted to focus more on adding in more free time and doing less work. And that was working out. This has been an interesting two weeks because now that the Black Lives Matter movement is finally like, picking up speed and people are listening to it and it's getting televised. I've just been trying to like fight and educate as many people as I could like during this like, I guess hype for it. It's been draining, like just seeing a lot of those uh, traumatic videos and just hearing people's stories, like that's been a lot. And then that was all last week. And, you know, I'm seeing people, you know, getting murdered and tear gassed and like attacked to now this week. It's the same thing, but now that's added on top of, you know, trans lives are in danger. There's still children being detained by ICE and the planet's not getting any better. See, I'm just dwelling. So <laughs> that's what I'm trying to like that. I'll just do that like all the time, like in my bed. And I noticed it was really trying to get me down and I started to be in a bad mood and I was really angry. And like how I showed you my uh, bullet journal spread in the last video, I wanted to still um, focus on the work, but structure it a little bit better so I had more time for fun. So I redid it around like June 1st because June was already here and I was not prepared at all. And I tried to focus more on my diet and going outside more and how I needed to stay away from my phone. So I kind of just wanted to give you guys a day in my life of how I've just been trying to keep track of my mental health and just a way for me to keep having fun and stay lively, but also still fight. So like, I want you guys just to see what I've been trying to do for myself. And then maybe you can take some pointers from that. You know, sometimes my ideal day doesn't always work out. And today looks like that day. Oh God, let's try it again. <laughs> get ready. He was just really dirty from his little outside trip. So we're on our way to the protest. It's only like 15 minutes away from my house even though we're a little bit late. And I'm with my brother. So I just got back from the protest and it was a really nice experience. I really enjoyed just like seeing everyone in my tiny town come together and you know, do as much as they could. A lot of people who were driving by like were honking their horns and waving their hands. So that was really good. We got, I feel like there was a lot of support. There's only one person who was like blatantly against it when uh, they drove by. But you know, I, I expect that from where I'm from at least. So it was good. It's only like 2.30 and I'm not gonna eat until like 3.30 according to my schedule. So I'm just gonna get some work done, um, finish up any emails or any like work that I have just like left. We're done. Big deal with what I'm doing right now in the summer, especially 
just with the Black Lives Matter movement going on, it's like a lot if you're on your phone all the time and you're seeing all those videos and reading all those stories. So I usually spend some time like signing petitions, posting what I can, and then for the rest of the day, I won't be on my phone. Hello, so it's like a couple hours later and I am now eating the pizza. And I'm just gonna watch some more Avatar because I've just been binge watching that. And I'm gonna chill with my pup until my boyfriend calls me because we're gonna do like a little movie TV date through like FaceTime. So it's gonna be really fun. And yeah, I'm about to destroy this. Hello again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And just so you know, whether it's a bullet journal, your notes, Snapchat, just know that keeping track of how you're feeling and you know, what changes are happening in your life that are creating emotional changes for you is like really, really important because you're gonna be able to catch little patterns in just your day-to-day -day life. And you'll be able to figure out how to, you know, change things or tweak certain aspects of your day that will just help you feel so much better overall. Making my time less structured and giving myself time to, you know, relax and take care of myself has really helped me stay more present and calm and definitely staying away from my phone. So just make sure you set boundaries with your phone. We have a video on that too. If you need it, you can click on the channel and find it. Set boundaries because it just, it has really changed a lot for me. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you'll check out some great resources at the link below. If you enjoyed our video, please give it a like. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one and ring the bell to make sure you never miss out on Peer Health Exchange's content. You should also check us out over on TikTok at Peer Health Exchange for more content. I'm here because I'm a health educator with Peer Health Exchange, an organization whose mission is to empower young people with the knowledge, skills, and resources we need to make healthy decisions. To see more resources from Peer Health Exchange and to ask health educators like me health-related questions, check out our Let's Talk portal. The link is below.